Hello Taurus, happy Friday to you, happy weekend to you guys. I hope you are relaxing, enjoying your weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. I was asked to start doing personal readings again, so I'm going to do them for a while. So if you want a personal reading from me, you can just email me directly. The email will be below this video in the description box below. So Taurus, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on by watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus, for Taurus highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? Oh, this one wants to show up as extra message. You are trying to heal emotionally from this disconnection with your soulmate. Yeah, you're trying to heal. You don't know how badly they want to see you. They are very slow to action. You're not reaching out to them, even though you feel you need to clear the air with them. Uh, kind of find closure, but you're not reaching out to them. This was a serious relationship. Yeah, it was. It's harder to let go of a relationship that was of serious nature, right? It's easier to let go of someone that you were just dating casually, right? No big deal. There's not much attachment. But when you are in a solid relationship with someone, the breakup is even harder to deal with, right? Yeah, it's, it's harder. And it takes longer to heal. Oh my goodness. So this clearly shows me that you had valid reasons to walk away from this relationship. Yeah. You you experienced a lot of trauma in this relationship. Yeah. Universe, please show us. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry you're dealing with so much, Taurus. I know it's tough. Yeah, you know, please show us what's coming up for Taurus and how is Taurus currently doing on their summit journey? <sighs> this person loves you. Yeah, they do. They really love you. But they didn't meet you halfway. They keep showing up as a knight. Knight, yeah. Night energy is non-committal energy, kind of in and out of people's lives. Happy-go-lucky, uh, not telling you where you stand, how they feel, not really committing in healthy ways. And night again, this person really, you see, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Um, this person really wants to see you, talk to you, interact with you. You're trying to balance your emotions. Yeah. So you have days where you feel you're doing really good. And then you have days where you feel you crash emotionally. Yeah. This was a serious relationship. Ten of Pentacles with Four of Wands. This was a serious relationship. This, this was a commitment to you. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus. And how is Taurus currently doing? on their summit journey look how beautiful your energy is you're showing up here as powerful attractive independent strong-willed queen of wands whether you're male or female you're showing up as very strong very independent yeah beautiful energy to describe you and somebody new showing up here for you new person entering your life I think you already know this new person, but your back is turned towards them. So you're either not interested in a relationship at this time because you're trying to heal from this one, or you're not realizing that this person that you already know, somebody new, other than the person you're letting go of, 
uh, is interested in you, is studying you, observing you, very attracted to you, but in a very respectful way. My favorite king of all kings, king of Pentecost, someone who is committal, obviously, because it's a king, someone who is uh, accomplished, grounded. Yeah, you really want to. You see here you're holding that ace of swords with your beak as a crow, a bird who has a lot to express to that person, but you've been silent because here you have four swords right which means you are silent and you really want to clear the air with them to tell them how you really feel uh what uh, uh you are thinking to kind of make sense of what happened so you can move on and here again your sword is pointing down which means you're not reaching out but you really want to kind of clear the air with them so uh, that you get closure that you feel you need They're spying on you. They're checking up on you. They're so heartbroken over losing this relationship. The person you're letting go of is absolutely devastated, but they don't really show it. They don't really express it. You see this? Um, hmm, interesting. Wow, I'm so sorry you're going through so much, Taurus. Yeah, this is a lot to bear, to have, to deal with emotionally. Let's see what's going on here. You know, what's we show us what's coming up for Taurus and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you guys had some very serious fights, disagreements, arguments. That usually is what happens before people break up, right? Yeah. Uh, people don't just break up smiling, right? Yeah. People break up because they are fighting and disagreeing big time. Yeah, this is you feeling emotionally unfulfilled, like you feel you have no closure in this relationship, like it's hard for you to move forward, even though you're trying. Yeah, this is you trying to find balance, emotional balance. This is you trying to ground your energy. You feel something is amiss here let's see what's going on with that soulmate you've been dealing with you know what's show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of taurus that taurus is letting go of at this time and how is that soulmate of taurus towards taurus especially emotionally what's going on currently with that soulmate of taurus and how's that soulmate of taurus towards taurus at this time especially emotionally oh this wanted to show up Okay, for some reason, two of them came out instead of one. This person wants to rush towards you with communication of great importance to them. They are guarding their heart just in case you reject them, say no to them, that you don't want to listen to what they have to say or block them. And they're very guarded emotionally just in case you reject them or judge them. And their sword is pointing up, which means that they want to communicate something to you of great importance. Yeah, they want to make amends with you. They don't want to feel, uh, but they worried you're going to say no to them. They almost certain that you're not going to let them uh, have a new beginning with you. You see, they almost certain you're going to say no to a new beginning with them because the judgment is reversed. But they're willing to take that chance to see if they can at least be on peaceful grounds with you. They don't want to feel any animosity any negative emotions towards you oh my goodness so they are really heartbroken over losing you this is the worst card in the whole deck three of swords this person is absolutely devastated emotionally over losing you so for them to feel that that means they love you and love you deeply yeah you see this yeah, they still feel enormously connected with you emotionally, spiritually. This is the star part of the universe holding your two souls, reminding you that the two of you are very connected on a spiritual soul level from past incarnations, which means you're going to see each other again in future incarnations. Wow, in this lifetime, this relationship between your two souls is very challenging for some reason. Yeah, they realize they didn't meet you halfway, that they don't blame you for letting them go. Yeah, they understand more now. 
than they did when they had you. You see this? This is them realizing that it might be too late, but they're going to try anyway. Let's see. Universe, please show us. Wow, I'm so sorry. Both of you are going through so much emotionally. Breakups are never easy, especially if you've been in a serious relationship. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus. Yeah, they do love you. Yeah, they do. This is them loving you, realizing how much you mean to them emotionally. They're trying to figure out what it is you feel for them, whether you miss them, love them. Oh, yeah, you guys had serious disagreements. Five of swords on top of three of swords. They keep thinking of the words that were exchanged. And I think they they said something that they wish they didn't. Maybe they said it in the heat of a moment when they were upset. That is usually what we all do when we communicate while we are upset. We're going to say things that we're going to most likely regret later, right? That's why it's so important to enter, to enter discussions when we are calm, right? When... When we are upset and we try to communicate, we're going to say things we're going to definitely regret. Um, you see, they know that they need to take action, that they need to come to you, extend the olive branch to you. Oh, my goodness. This person is so worried how you're going to react. Yeah, they feel a great need to see you, to at least make amends. Look how much respect they have for you, viewing you as fabulous Empress Energy, someone of very high quality. Yeah, they're very slow to action, though. Very slow. But there's somebody new coming up for you. Taurus, you're going to decide who you want or don't want to be with. Yeah, right? You have free will to decide whether you want this person back if they prove themselves to you through actions, of course. Or you want somebody new, if you want to be alone for a while, that's totally up to you. You have free will to make those decisions for yourself. You know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus. Wow, they have a wish. You see, this is unexpected communication out of nowhere. Yeah, they want to correct things, make things right, make amends, justice showing up here. You guys have soul contracts from past lifetimes, which means you're going to see each other again in future lifetimes. Yeah, they slow to action, but they are coming towards you, Taurus. Yeah, they won't be able to stop themselves. Yeah, even though they are fearful of your reaction and judgment and rejection of them, they won't be able to stop themselves. Yeah. Wow. So we're going to go into your extended reading, Taurus. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask, what are they currently hiding from you, either purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.